Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and here's your word for the day. Have you ever seen anyone run a long distance marathon and wonder how they keep that pace throughout the entire time and not give up? Well first, they train every day to build up their conditioning. And they only wear what is needed for the race because anything extra will only weigh them down and hold them back and get in their way. What's really cool about marathons is that you have a ton of people cheering you on throughout the race, encouraging you to keep moving forward. They're also taught not to look to the left or the right as they're running their race, but only look forward to the finish line so that they can finish strong. As followers of Jesus Christ, did you know that you and I are running a race? And it's kind of like a marathon. And we too are encouraged to finish our race strong. Listen to what it says in Hebrews chapter 12, starting at verse 1, on how we can do that today. This is what it says. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Did you catch what is needed for us to finish our race strong? Endurance. We need to endure the race that is set before us. So how are you doing with that? Are you running with endurance or have you gotten off track? If so, what are you wearing today that's holding you back from what God has called you to do? Is it sin that needs to be confessed? Maybe you fell back and have been stuck in the guilt and shame of it. Is it the heaviness of past pain and hurt that's holding you back? Is it unforgiveness towards others, and maybe even yourself, that you're holding on to? Is it a character issue because you took your eyes off of Jesus and maybe you're reflecting the old you more than reflecting Jesus? So how do we get back on track so that we can finish our race strong? Well, first, we must lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely. We need to confess our sins to Jesus. 1 John 1, 9 says this, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then we need to train our spiritual muscles every day and build up our spiritual conditioning by praying, reading, studying, and meditating on God's Word daily. You also need to know that you're not alone. You need to get connected. Join a life group. You know, you have a church family that will encourage you to keep moving forward, that's gonna be cheering you on. And most importantly, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus, who is the founder and the perfecter of our faith. That's how we get back on track and continue to run our race with endurance. You see, it's not how we start, but it's how we finish that matters the most. So Calvary, Let's lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us so that you and I can finish strong. God bless you and have a good day.